40 41 is the number to call kip hakes is a dad of two an essex blogger and youtuber good morning to you kip hi there hi now then you uh had uh, two children a decade apart but you started yes, young right. how old were yes, you I when did. you became a dad so i was uh, 22 or tw- well, about 22 21 when i be- uh, became a dad for the first time and then um i had my second child almost a decade later when i was 31 so you're almost the opposite of boris then because you went full on into parenthood at the age of 22 are you ready for that um no not really um i i mean i think you know it was it was it was completely planned and everything but i think once you get a child and it's there in front of you and you're that young you are effectively almost a child having a child and um it's quite scary you know obviously the second time around when i had my youngest then i i was a lot more confident in myself and i knew what i was doing but yeah when being so young it was it was really scary i mean i had to i had to ask a nurse um when the my baby had filled its nappy because i just hadn't got a clue how you dealt with a nappy it was just bizarre but you know we'd had this child and it was just handed over to us and it was like there you go and uh, yeah it was terrifying and then you you waited you know almost a, a pretty much a decade for number two why not you know once you had one did you not just sort of carry on and and you know have the children a, a, with a with a lesser age gap um it was it was more well I, I don't know i think it was it was sort of like a conscious decision and also um circumstance as well um but i think in actually it actually worked out better having quite quite an age gap there um i think i think by the time i was sort of 31 when i had my second child my life was a lot more in order and um yeah i think it all depends on your personal circumstances really and i don't know i think i think it, i although it was easy it was easier when i was younger because i was i was used to sort of being up late and you know it it was great and easy to get up and sort out bottles and nappies and stuff in the middle of the night but when I was in my 30s and I had my second child it was a lot lot harder to get up I found like really hard but what about Um, what about financially Kip I mean at at 22 uh you know whatever whatever time we've you know we've 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 had children it's, it's a real burden financially even more so I would suggest the you know in in this in this century this the 2000s to oh to yeah have a child. I mean yeah, what um, about what about those those implications well i think i think actually when i was younger because i got i got married quite young and i was settled down quite young we were sort of we were actually in quite a good position um then but obviously things have changed so dramatically now i mean i owned a house when i was in my 20s and you know i think now people aren't a lot of 20 year olds won't own their own house because it's just impossible so i don't know i think because of the time when i had my child it was a lot easier to own your own property and um but now and also when i was in my 30s i was self-employed then i i uh, started my own business and so therefore i was actually working sort of with the with the baby on my lap and you know uh, my wife was also uh, self-employed and w- we didn't really have any maternity or paternity leave we just had to balance the child sort of between us and just and just get on with it basically the idea kip of of boris he's just become a dad in his in his mid 50s i i think i read greg wallace at the, at the end of last year became a dad from master chef at 54 simon cowell was 53 yeah. what do you think about what what would you think about having a, a a child in your 50s well well i certainly wouldn't fancy it to if i'm completely honest with you um i i mean you know as i said getting getting up in in the middle of the night in my 30s was hard enough um but then i guess when you're sort of getting a little bit older you might be used to getting up in the middle of the night for a little sort of late night wee i don't know i think um yeah i th- I don't know. I mean, also, I, th- I suppose when we're looking at celebrities and things like that, it's not necessarily like a, a normal upbringing. I don't imagine Boris Johnson is going to be getting up and doing all the nappies in the middle of the night. I think there might be some kind of help there, maybe. I don't know, obviously. you know. But I think I, th- I think it all depends on personal circumstances, really. Um, it's Everyone's different and everyone's situation's different. And, you know, good, good luck to him. Uh, and looking back, Kip, are you are you glad you started be- being a dad at such a young age? Yeah, I th- I I am definitely. I I I always had this thing in my head that I didn't want to be like an old dad at the school gates. 
I remember a few kids from school had sort of quite a lot older parents and it always it always seemed a bit bizarre and and weird and I never wanted to be that old dad um, but equally I think especially when I had my first child I always looked like quite a young dad compared to everyone else at school sort of hanging around at the school and I think I don't know I, th I think I've, I timed it all nicely though with how my life has ended up and I think yeah it's all it's all gone to plan quite nicely uh, good to chat to you Kip you take care thank you so much Ben Kip Hakes thank you uh, very much so he he the opposite of uh, Boris Johnson really isn't he um